Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited. 2018 is going to be a great year. We've got so much great gear. Zycel just sent me some stuff. Open Mesh has sent me some stuff. We've got all kinds of stuff. We're going to finish that ring installation. But tonight, what we are talking about is a couple of features that came up in our 5.6.29 Unify installation that I wanted to kind of touch on, cover a little bit more in depth. As you can see behind me, over there uh, is the Square AP version 2, you know, the Square ones. They're still out there. I've still got a couple clients, a couple hanging out there. I've got one here for the lab. There's also one of the old a or, uh, LR APs with the orange and green rings. And then off camera is a mesh unit. I want to talk to you about the end of life notification and the professional installer options. So let's take a look at that. As you can see in the cloud key, we have three access points adopted. The first one is the Unify AP AC version 2. We've got the Unify AP AC mesh, and we have the Unify AP LR, the old version with the awesome green and orange LED rings. They're all adopted. Now, the very first thing that you can see is that Ubiquity has not decided to... They have not at this point, end of life, the original Unify AP LR that I have here. However, the AP AC version 2, the square one, you can see that it's got this EOL end of life pending and it's got this exclamation point in the triangle. So we, we click on that and over here it says support for this device will be ending soon. And when we expand that, it says this device will only be supported through November 6, 2018. After that, any new firmware updates, including security updates, will not be released. This device will not be supported from controller version 5.7.0. If that or a newer controller is installed, then any new configurations will not be provisioned. So they are giving you plenty of time to look at alternatives, or they're telling you, you're going to have to stay on a 5.6 controller release, but this tells tells us that 5.7 stable is, is coming soon. So any devices that you see this, that's what it means. And it's January now, and I think this may have been out a little bit before this release. You know, Ubiquity dis, you know, devices are inexpensive, so you should be able to get these replaced. You, you, you don't even necessarily have to have them replaced by November November 6th, I will tell you that I've sold Cisco 1140, 1141 ends on eBay. Those things have been end of life and people still snatch them up. They pay like 150, 160 bucks on eBay for those things. The Ubiquity devices are going to work as long as there's not a big security issue. Just get them replaced as soon as you can. Like I said, let's support Ubiquity. They release all of this for free. The least we can do is replace hardware when they're telling us that it's end of life. That should be a best practice anyway. Okay, so I didn't know if the you know that original LR would be EOL or not, but it's not, but this version 2 is, so we have that. Now, the other option that we saw was the professional installer option, and this has spurred a lot of questions. And what the professional in installer does is it doesn't allow you to make changes to devices with external antennas unless you certify certify that you are a professional installer. So the FCC regulates, or the federal government, or the FCC, whatever you want to call them, the, there's an, a regulation of how wireless devices in the United States are supposed to be deployed and how they are supposed to act and things like that. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can cause interference and all kinds of stuff. Now, I just oversimplified that. So don't go to town and roast me about that. I'm trying to get this out there to let you know that there are rules, there are laws that govern wireless and it's controlled by the federal government and the FCC so ubiquity has to comply with these laws if they want to sell their devices in the United States ubiquity has to comply with certain things and this professional installer check is one of those things they are putting the onus back on you that you are saying that you are professional and you understand what you're doing and so then if something happens, it's going to come back on you. So you should make sure that you know what you're doing. 
All right, so we're going to pull up the lab unify mesh. We're going to go to config. We're going to go to radios. And you're going to see, because this guy has external, the external antennas, you're going to see where we could change settings on these antennas. So when we look at the antenna gain, it wants to know which which antenna, right? So, but when I when I select these, I can't change this. And the reason that I can't change this is because right here it says custom antenna gain is not allowed in your region. You have to be a professional installer to override antenna gain. Please update your account settings to enable options for professional installers. And kudos to Ubiquity for not to for changing this and making it so it's not like that by default. So. If I want to light these options up, what I've got to do is I've got to come up to the account, and when you add when you add an account for somebody, uh, it will ask you, "Is this person a professional installer?" You have to check. It'll prompt you again and say, "You know, you're certifying." So down here is the professional installer checkbox, and it says, "Enable options for professional installers." I'm going to check that. Here it comes. It says, "I hereby certify that I'm a professional installer of wireless equipment." So I am taking the onus. And saying that I am the professional, and I'm going to submit that. Oh, have to put my uh, password in, and we'll submit that. My account was successfully updated. So now, if I come back into the Unify uh, Mesh, I can come in here, and I can now go to Custom, and I can change the gain on the antenna. So uh, I do have some I do have another antenna that we're going to look at that goes along with this mesh but that's what that's all about. So I just I wanted to run over there run over these. They've both you know I've had a lot of questions about those. I see a lot of questions out there. So that is it. I want to thank you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon links down there to buy your gear and as always we'll see you in the next video.